a linear cost function. Algebra, ready? Who remembers this? You might have seen as y equals mx plus b. Here it's y equals a plus bx. means the same thing. So that's your cost function. That's your linear cost function. Y is why you're trying to solve usually a cost. You're trying to figure out a cost based upon a variable. Y in algebra, your dependent variable. X, your independent variable. Y is dependent on X. A in algebra is your um, Y-intercept, right? Remember that, the Y-intercept, which in cost functions says how much would it cost if you produced zero units, which is your fixed cost. X is your cost driver, direct labor hours, whatever it is that's driving your cost function. And B is your slope, which is your cost per unit, or your, your, your change per unit, delta Y over delta X, Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. And remember this from high school, junior high school, fourth grade? That's your variable cost. Yes, sir? What's that? Well, you're not gonna, in, in our world, it needs to be positive, right? In algebra, it doesn't. But um, in our world, you're not going to have a negative fixed cost unless you can come up with a scenario where, you, you know, if you produce nothing, you get paid. Maybe in farming, where they pay you a subsidy not to grow corn. But generally speaking, it would be positive. 